So yeah, I uh, am currently working on a graphic novel, but I also work on um, like picture books. Um, uh, I really like drawing, you know, kids of all, all kinds, um, various creatures, um, usually things like this. Um, and these are some kind of pages that I have from this graphic novel I'm working on. It's for kids like eight to 12. Um, and it's a story based on my own childhood. Um, and it's kind of about, um, you know, what family means to you. So um, what we're going to do today, I'm going to talk a little bit about comics and the graphic novel medium. Um, there's a lot we can get into, but I just kind of want to give a very quick overview so you kind of have a sense of um, just graphic novels in case uh, that's not familiar to you already. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit about how I'm making this graphic novel, and then we're going to create our own comics. Um, if you're not really familiar with this book, uh, Understanding Comics um, by Scott McCloud, highly recommend it. Uh, you can maybe check it out at the Sunnyvale Library, you know, uh, plug for that. Um, but basically he describes um, comics as this um, juxtaposed pictorial and other images in deliberate sequence intended to convey information and or produce an aesthetic response in the viewer. And one of the things about comics is, is this idea of amplification through simplification. Um, and kind of, you know, when you look at this face compared to this and the progression, um, you know, here we're looking at this very specific detailed face. And when you kind of abstract this out, um, you get this very simple face that in some way kind of amplifies things that if you just look at this, you know, you're just focusing on all the details. and. Um, here you're really getting that that clear focus. Um, and this idea of like cartoons is a way to focus your attention. Um, and also the universality of cartoon imagery, I think, is really interesting. You know, you can combine um, stuff, uh, sim simple things like lines, um, zigzagging and squiggly lines, like they give a different feel when you kind of put all these elements together. And kind of making comics in some ways is, is kind of, you're kind of thinking, you're putting on your director's hat, you know, like um, uh, kind of establishing the scene. Uh, you might use a different kind of shot and, uh, you know, different kinds of ways to convey the story. Um, so I uh, was doing a lot of trying to figure out some of these things of how do you actually tell that story. Um, um, character sketches, this kind of just early stuff. Um, and then this is kind of what I was mentioning, like alongside the writing, I'll be doing these little thumbnails, which are just super rough drawings, trying to figure out the layout of something. And then from here, I'll take it into like these rough drawings um, that I do on the iPad. When I first start it, I bring in the sketch um, from the first stage. And I kind of have it in red, and then I'll draw over it in, I think here, in the ink final layer. Um, turn that off so it's a little bit easier to see. Um, and then I actually do this phase called flatting, which is um, just kind of putting in big color blocks. Uh, and this allows me to then like basically make a copy and then change the colors more easily because um, I'm not coloring everything individually. Uh, so that means like if I have to change the color, it'll be, it'll be faster. Um, and then I'll add in some like maybe little details and like shadow um, just to make it feel a little bit more uh, nuanced. And then you kind of add the, the color, the balloons on top. This thing called Hourly Comic Day, which happens every year on February 1st. And it's really interesting because it's basically um, cartoonists, graphic novel people, anyone, basically takes uh, any, like every hour, supposedly, you kind of draw something um, about what happened that hour. But it could be like things that, you know, you're thinking about or anything that kind of happened. And what's nice about it is that there's kind of no real way, like there's no, um, everyone can do it in their own way, right? Thank you for having me. And yeah, if you have any other questions, you know, you can uh, feel free to reach out to me uh, I'm online at all the places. So. Yeah. Thank you so much, and we all enjoyed it. So thank you. 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 Thank you.